Hey, it's Jacob Sakelian here, recording and touring artist and co-founder of String Project LA, the only school in America completely dedicated to creative string playing. Like most of you, I spent my entire life playing and performing classical repertoire, but from a pretty early age, I became interested in Coltrane and Miles Davis, and eventually started checking out Jimi Hendrix and Led Zeppelin, and I wanted to create an instructional series that would help cellists bridge the gap between the music they were passionate about and their instruments, and hopefully to help them discover their own unique voice as creative improvisers. Each volume of the series focuses on a different type of scale or chordal playing. You may be asking, why are we talking about scales? Aren't there enough scale books out there? Well, to illustrate what makes my book so different, let's check out this scale from the Fouillard book, E flat major. Now, the idea behind that scale fingering is to improve your shifting and your facility and teach you the different positions on the instrument, which are all very valuable. However, that fingering is extremely ineffective when we're working on improvisation. What makes my book fundamentally different is that we focus on formula-based playing, which will allow you to use one or two fingerings to play in every key. So let's talk about pentatonic scales today. The book gives you three distinct fingering systems for pentatonic scales to help you move even less and be more flexible from shape to shape. But today, we'll just talk about the movable pentatonic scale. Let's give it a try. And this is called the movable pentatonic shape because there's no open strings. So if this is the C minor pentatonic scale, and this is the C sharp minor, D minor, and this is the E flat minor, this is the E minor. You can play every pentatonic scale, major and minor, in any key using this one shape. The only rule you need to know is, is if you find the root and you put your fourth finger there, call this E, you can play the scale up. Or if you find the root and you put your second finger on it, you can play the scale down. Fourth finger jam up, second finger jam down. That's all you need to know. For more information, check in at jacobsandkelly.com, my Facebook page, and keep on the lookout for more videos being released every month or so.